2016, if Hillary would have just mentioned Flint and Standing Rock, she would have won, but she didn't. But now she and the media blame Bernie for Trump. No, it's this, this, the Democratic Party is 100% to blame for Donald Trump. She didn't campaign in Wisconsin and Michigan and Pennsylvania. Had she campaigned there, she would have won. Had she just shown up at, she didn't even have to show up at Standing Rock, but she's Standing Rock's not right. But she's a corporatist. She makes money from the oil companies, just like Obama, just like Trump, just like all of them. And then they had the audacity to blame Bernie Sanders supporters. You ran a shitty, shitty campaign, and you're blaming us? Fuck you, man. I'm sorry. I'm so sick of that crap. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. Native Americans, and, and all others, but, but there was mainly Native Americans were at Standing Rock. They were getting the shit beaten out of them. They were shot with water cannons and all this crap. Where were you? And Obama said, we'll see how this plays out. Where were you, Alyssa Milano? Like Jordan said. Where were you wine moms? Where were you white feminist Hillary supporters? Where were you when Native Americans were getting the crap kicked out of them because they didn't want a pipeline on their land? Where were you? you now you're going to blame Bernie Sanders? you got to be kidding me. I'm so sick of neoliberals doing this crap. Your party, your neoliberal corporate politicians that you hold so dear, they did this. They created Donald Trump. They did this. Debbie Wasserman, these are facts. Debbie Wasserman Schultz was fired by the DNC when the Podesta emails came out for corruption. Hillary Clinton then hired her. That told progressives, oh, this party is corrupt. I'm not voting for you. That told people like in West Virginia that voted for Bernie Sanders, we're not voting for Hillary. People in West Virginia didn't forget NAFTA. Donna Brazil was fired, was fired by CNN for giving Hillary Clinton questions ahead of a debate. She cheated. CNN fired her for it. That's not Bernie bro's fault. And all these women and all these people of color that supported Bernie in 2016 and in 2020 were racially, it's a racist, uh, offensive, dismissive insult to call them burn bros. And I'm so sick of all these wine mom white feminists who support Hillary Clinton. Let me tell you something about your hero, your hero. Flight logs, I'm not making this up, flight logs that the FAA demands everybody, every pilot has to do, show that Hillary Clinton was on Epstein's plane twice. Donald Trump was on once. I think Donald Trump was a pedophile who knew Epstein just from one flight log. Hillary was on twice as many times. Her husband, Bill Clinton, was on 26 times. Bill and Hillary were at Epstein's compound in New Mexico numerous times. I'm not making this up. This is an internet conspiracy theory crap. These are facts. Jeline Maxwell was at Chelsea Clinton's wedding two years after she settled out of court for being a pedophile and a sex trafficker. If you think Hillary Clinton is your feminist hero, you're delusional. You're just as delusional as the crazy culty Trump supporters that say Trump never lies. They're out of their minds. How are you any different? Hillary Clinton did not campaign in Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. I didn't make that up. That's not, I'm not making that up. She chose to not do this. She lost that election. And then you blame Bernie supporters? And neoliberal Hollywood friends of mine call me up and say, Graham, stop what you're doing. They're blaming the messenger? Blame yourself. Blame yourself for backing the shitty corrupt party. Blame yourself for not holding that party accountable. It's a dumb part of human nature, especially American human nature, to think that if I'm calling out a politician you voted for, I'm somehow insulting you. Just say, I voted for this person. They clearly sucked. I was wrong. This party is corrupt. And don't tell me how awful Trump is. I know how awful Trump is. Criticizing the Democrats does not mean I support Donald Trump. He's racist. He's a fascist. But all of the things he's doing, again, these are facts. I'm not making this up. Everything Donald Trump is doing with federal troops, Obama did that. He sent federal troops into Baltimore when people were protesting Freddie Gray. It was a Democratic mayor of Baltimore, a black woman that allowed that to happen, that allowed him to get murdered. And then she sent um, cops to shoot protesters. She did that. He let Tiger Swan, again, this is all verifiable on the, this isn't, this is, Tiger Swan, a private security company, was operating on Standing Rock. The police were on Army Corps land. It was federal land. Obama could have said, you can't go on federal land. These protesters have a right to do this. But he backed the party. Stop telling me that the Democrats are heroes. The mayor of Portland, Oregon is a Democrat. 
who will not kick out these federal troops. Ted Wheeler, the mayor of Seattle, is a Democrat who has allowed the Seattle Police Department to tear gas and shoot people with rubber bullets. Mayor of Los Angeles is a Democrat. He will not call out the crimes of the LAPD. Wake up. Stop blaming us progressives. I'm sick of it. You dumb neoliberals, you're the problem. Malcolm X called out your problem. Malcolm X said you're the worst thing that's ever happened. You need to wake up. Don't tell me how great Obama was because his tweets were nice. He bombed seven countries. He took us from two wars to seven. I'm not making that up. I keep having to say that because you go, Grand, you act like jackasses. When, if Biden wins, great. You're going to go back. Are you going to go back to brunch? Are you going to not pay attention? Like all the Alyssa Milano wine moms who had no problem with Native Americans getting the shit beaten out of them by cops and private, federally funded security forces? What Obama did at Standing Rock and in Baltimore and during Occupy Wall Street is exactly what Trump is doing to people in Portland, Oregon. You think Trump's the first one to do this? He legally can because Obama signed the National Defense Authorization Act in December of 2011. Wake up! The Second Amendment red state jackasses that don't want to wear a mask, they're hypocrites, they're liars, many of them are racists. But you and they they don't think federal agents are gonna come snatch them up because they got an American Eagle hat? They're delusional, and you're delusional if you think Obama and Biden are somehow heroes. Obama <laughs> eighty-five thousand kids are dead in Yemen. Eighty-five thousand children are dead in Yemen. You think that George Floyd video is awful? And it is. He was murdered by the Minneapolis police. What do you think of the families of the 85,000 children in Yemen? That was a war started by Obama that is continued by Trump. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired. And then you blame us progressives. Oh, you burn bros. If Biden needs you, you, you lost. You lost. You ran a shitty campaign in 2016. You cheated Bernie Sanders again. The United Nations, again, I'm not making this up, has said the 2016 and 2020 Democratic primaries have all the earmarks of a rigged election. I'm not making that up. I don't work for the UN. When there's districts where Bernie Sanders had double-digit exit poll victories and O'Biden somehow won and they were all voting precincts that used electronic voting machines that were proven in 2006 to be hackable, none of that what I just said I'm making up. None of this is conspiratorial. All of this is fact. You just choose to not listen to it. And because Rachel Maddow, who's paid by companies like Boeing and Pfizer to push this nonsense because she doesn't call it out, you think it's not real. Oh, if it's only on people on YouTube, they must be crazy YouTubers. No, we just want the truth. I don't like Trump. He's a Nazi. He's awful. And Joe Biden is backed by the Lincoln Project because Joe Biden is a Republican. He said, I'm not going to defund the police. He just voted to give police departments an extra $300 billion. He's not for Medicare for all. We need free health care in the middle of a pandemic. What are you talking about? Wake up, neoliberals. You're on the streets protesting for George Floyd. That's awesome. I'm all for it. You need to wake up to the whole thing. Because when Obama dropped more bombs than Bush, you didn't care. All of us white people are having to own our white privilege. And it's, this is important, isn't it? And it's uncomfortable. We're having to hear about this. And we're learning there's a book, White Fragility. We all need to read that, white people. But the same thing for you liberals, you neoliberals of any ethnicity. If you're still holding on, to the fact that Obama and Biden were great and we want Biden to win, you are just, and if you're a person of color, you need to hear this. You are just as much in denial as the white people that say, oh, I don't see race. I don't think there's systemic racism. Not all cops are bad. Those are the same statements. I really need you to hear that. White people, we really need to hear about white privilege. We all need to own it. We need to look at it in our lives. But all liberals, all of you voted for Obama, liberals, you all of whatever your ethnicity, whatever your gender, whatever your, whatever your socioeconomic status, whatever your sexual orientation is, whatever that is, you need to hear this because all the shit that's happening in the streets was made legal by Bush and Obama. In some cases, it was made legal by Bush, the Patriot Act. Who voted for the Patriot Act? 
a bunch of Democratic senators and congresspeople, people like Joe Biden, people like Hillary Clinton. They voted for this. They voted for the war in Iraq. Obama kept it going. He, he kept the Patriot Act going. The democratically controlled Congress has voted to keep the Patriot Act going. Everything that I've said to you is verifiable on the internet. I'm not making any of this shit up. If you don't want to wake up to this, then you're not, then you're, then you're not, then you're living in denial. You need to wake up to this. Because if we all don't wake up, this shit's going to keep happening. You've got to look at the whole thing. Systemic racism, part of it is because is there's a profit motive. For-profit prisons, how did those get expanded under eight years under Obama? Did that just, did, was that just he got tricked? What happened? How come countries in Western Europe have had free health care for 70 years and we don't? <laughs> Thanks for watching the show. Wake up. Boom. I've woken up. I voted for Obama twice. I phone banked for him in 2008, donated to his campaign. I would love to see a female president. I'd love to see a, a, a female president, a, a, a woman of color, whatever, but not if they have profited from corporate and war and all that other stuff. Kamala Harris put 120,000 people of color behind bars as attorney general of the state of California. She gets money from the military industrial complex. She gets money from private prisons. Wake up. The Democrats are not your friends. And even people like AOC and the squad, they won't call out the Democratic Party's corruption. They just say Trump's bad, Trump's bad, Trump's bad. He's an existential threat. Okay, great. And when he's out of there, then what? Then what? Biden will keep bombing. We're bombing seven countries right now. Those are countries that Obama and Biden started bombing. We're sanctioning countries that, again, were sanctioned under Obama and Biden. We sell weapons to Saudi Arabia. Trump sold $100 billion in weapons to Saudi Arabia. Obama and Biden sold $113 billion to Saudi Arabia. You know, the country that treats women like second-class citizens and chops up journalists. <laughs> that country, there are allies. The country that the majority of the 9-11 bombers came from, wake up. The lesser of two evils is still evil. Shave your knuckles for justice. Hey everybody, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.